Let's take a look at angles and bearings. Now an angle is formed when two straight lines come to a point. Straight line, straight line, there's an angle. Straight line, straight line, there's an angle, etc, etc. Now there are four types of angles. We have an acute angle, we have a right angle, we have an obtuse angle, and we have a reflex angle. Now an acute angle, this is in very general terms a small angle, but the proper definition of an acute angle is one that is less than 90 degrees. So an, an acute angle is less than 90, so it's less than a right angle. This is a right angle and the right angle is where you have that square drawn in. This tells us that it is 90 degrees. So if we go back to the acute angle, if I draw in 90 degrees, there's 90 degrees. This angle here is less than 90, so therefore that is an acute angle. An acute angle is less than 90, a right angle is exactly 90, and obtuse, this is a big angle or an, an angle which is greater than 90 degrees. If I just draw in the 90 degree angle here, there's my 90, so this is more than 90, it's this much more than 90. And a reflex angle, this is an, an angle which is greater than 180 degrees. So here we have, normally when we uh, put two lines together, we'd be looking at this angle here. Now the reflex is the massive one round the back, basically. So acute is less than 90, a right angle is 90, an obtuse is greater than 90, but less than 180, and a reflex is an angle that is greater than 180 degrees. When you're measuring angles, um, the most important tool you can have is a protractor. So if you, you were to measure this angle, what you would need to do is get this uh, point here and place it exactly here and get this line in line along here. So sit the protractor on top of um, the base of your angle and so it would look something like this. And now all you're doing is you're taking a measurement where the other line uh, cuts through some of the numbers here. Now, um, you do have to be careful because it might look like this is between 120, 130. That would be if you were measuring uh, this angle here. So because we're measuring this angle here, then we're gonna be going through the, uh, the inside here. Now, we, if you think about it, we know this angle is an acute angle. It's a small angle, so it must be less than 90. Here's 90, so it's gotta be less than 90. If we're using these numbers, this is more than 90. So what we need to be doing is going 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and, well, it's quite hard to see on screen, but I'd say somewhere along the lines of 52 degrees. But I wouldn't stress about if it's not obvious exactly how exact the angle is, normally um, an examining board would accept a range of, of, of uh, values, so perhaps between 51 and 53 degrees. But for me, that's yeah, approximately 52 degrees. As long as you know how to measure an angle, that's the most important thing. The key thing is line this up on your angle and make sure that this side of the protractor sits flush on the base of the angle. Bearings. The most important thing for a bearing is you need to measure from north. So this is a bearing of 127 degrees. The bearing of B from A is 127 degrees. If the bearing was uh, less than 100 degrees, then you'd give a th still give a three figure bearing. The most important thing is you measure the bearing from north and it's three figures. So if you were working out the bearing of C from A, and this was an angle of 45 degrees, then that would be a bearing of 0, 4, 5 degrees. So the, the, what you need to be careful about as, as well as the wording, um, it can be a bit confusing, is this angle here is the bearing of B from A. So if you're at A, what bearing do you go on to get to B? So you'd need to go 100, turn 127 degrees from north to get to B. If you wanted the bearing of A from B, that means you're at B, what bearing do you need to go on to get to A? So the bearing would be this angle here, and that angle there is simply this angle here with 180 added on or taken away. Um, you need an angle between zero and 360, so 127 plus 180, that is, uh, that is a bearing of 307 degrees. So do be very, very careful. Just make sure you're clear on what it means uh, 
of a bearing of B from A. A bearing of B from A means you're, you're at A and you want to measure the angle to get to B. And if you want the bearing of A from B, that means you're at B, you're going from B to get to A, so therefore you'd need that angle there.